Hello, okay, so today I'm going to talk to you about how to safely reuse face masks. So first we're going to talk about the disposable kind and then I'm going to talk to you about the fabric face masks. So let's start with the N95 mask, which is the respirator mask. It's a mask that has the built-in filter in it. So the recommendation with an N95 mask is that your maximum amount of uses should really be no more than five uses. And the understanding is that you're going to be checking the mask each time before you wear it. You're going to check it for physical damage. You're going to make sure that there are no dents or bends or broken portions around the area where the filter is. You want to make sure that there's no visible dirt, that the mask is not damp or wet. And also, most importantly, check those elastics. Make sure that they're nice and stretchy still, because if they're losing the elasticity, then that means you're not going to get a nice tight fit. All right. And with the N95 masks, um, make sure that when you put them on, you properly sanitize or so wash your hands with hot soapy water before you put the mask on and then wash your hands again afterwards. Um, so when you're storing the mask, direct sunlight is not a good idea because the direct sunlight sunlight can damage the N95 mask all right the recommendation is to store it in in a in a plastic container for example something that's breathable and make sure that after each storage you're cleaning out the container properly or um, a lot of people are using brown paper bags you just need to make sure that whatever place you're storing it in is properly breathable now you're going to leave the mask alone for about three to four days and that will give it enough time for it to kind of be safe to reuse all right so keep that in mind and five times is the absolute max okay and then let's talk about surgical masks so those are the masks with the ear loops so they have ties over the head and they have a panel that goes across the front of your face now those ones again you're going to check for damage before you put on the mask. You wanna make sure that then there are no tears. You want to make sure there's no visible dirt. You wanna make sure that the mask is not damp or wet. All right, and if any of those are the case, then it's time to dispose of it. Um, storage is very similar to the N95 masks, but with the surgical mask, you can just hang them out to dry or you can put them in a brown paper bag again and make sure that it's a breathable space. And again, you're going to leave it for three to four days. All right. So um, most surgical masks, you can maybe reuse them uh, two or three times before you're going to have to dispose of it. All right. Now, the last thing I'm going to mention is when it comes to disinfecting those masks, the only safe way to disinfect it is to leave it alone in a breathable space. Let it dry out for those three to four days before you reuse it. Do not spray disinfectant on your masks because you are going to then be inhaling that disinfectant, which is not safe for your lungs, um, your upper respiratory system. Keep in mind that, you know, you need to wash your hands with hot soapy water before you put the mask on don't touch the inside of the mask and then again after you've put the mask on wash your hands again all right um, so now let's talk about reusable fabric masks now each time you use your fabric mask you have to launder it right afterwards okay so every single time so um, hot soapy water in the sink or you can throw it in with your laundry just make sure it's on the hot cycle and then um, dry in the you know on the high heat um, setting in your dryer or hang the mask out to dry in a nice breathable space um, and if you can get it into some direct sunlight that will be helpful too it'll dry out a little bit faster okay um, with a fabric face masks a couple of things you don't need to do is bleach okay i know there's a lot of recommendation to put bleach in as long as you've got good hot soapy water that is going to kill and disrupt the virus break it up and that's it that's all that's necessary so you're going to do about you know just like you're hand washing about 20 seconds you know if you're going to hand wash it in nice hot soapy water rinse it thoroughly you don't need bleach again for the same reason why you don't spray disinfectant on on, um, disposable masks is that you're going to be breathing in that chemical from the bleach so not a good idea because you you know you have to spend a, an awful lot of time trying to get all of that bleach out of the fabric so hot soapy water is all that's necessary and then let it hang out to 
dry um, and most likely uh, you know have two or three fabric masks that you can cycle because you want to make sure that it dries at least for a couple of days so it's good and dry and safe for you to reuse okay so i hope this was helpful if you found this video helpful don't forget to click the like button subscribe and yes don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll know when i post a new video thanks so much for listening and have a wonderful day